turnover by Penn State. Here comes Wisconsin. Wagner blows a stick. He shoots. He'll score. In what Coach Granado described as the most satisfying weekend his team has had all year, Wisconsin battled back from a third period deficit twice last weekend and has now moved up to third place in the Big Ten standings. Hi everyone and welcome to the Press Pass. Following a strong performance against Penn State, UW Hockey is now in the hunt for home ice advantage during the Big Ten tournament. I think that now that the results are starting to come, I think the, the confidence in each other is starting to come. The last five games have been really good. We're good enough to be a team that deserves home ice in, in the playoffs. On Sunday, the Badgers were 6-for-7, killing penalties against one of the best power plays in the nation in Penn State. The good thing right now is we've got two goaltenders that are playing the best that they've played all year. Uh, that's given us a chance every single night. I think that's been really important. Wisconsin will travel to Ann Arbor for a pair of games against Michigan on Friday and Saturday. The women's basketball team picked up a Big Ten road win at Illinois. Suzanne Gilreath led all scorers with a career-high 27 points. Her seven three-pointers in the game were the second most ever to be scored by a Badger in a single game. But Suzanne Gilreath's ability to score the basketball yesterday allowed us to push the lead out. And then we got great contributions from other people in the second half offensively. Nia Beverly had seven points. You know, Kendall Shaw did a great job uh, of finishing off plays. The video of the week is a cool moment from Saturday's face-off against cancer game, where UW recognized local efforts to fight cancer. The crowd showed support for Noah Sanger and former UW hockey player Rob Andringo, both of whom are currently battling cancer. That's the Press Pass. For Wisconsin Athletics, I'm Rob Heinbrook.